And by the way, one thing I would love to do one day, mm -hmm. if you can get one of your insurance agent sponsors to come on, <laughs> to come on at the same time and, and be seen in public with me, is just come in and talk about the standard auto policy from, you know, from the point of view, you know, I'll give my perspective, they give theirs, uh, whoever else. But so, okay. yeah, I just, just uh, I, uh, between uh, Mabotan and I would try to uh, help to translate the uh, information that you give to us at the best of our ability to translate to our viewer. Right? Uh, you know, so, uh, uh, we have a scale and we have a lot of people who are in the world, but the same people who are in the world, 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 ហើយលោកក៏សម្បត្តិចាត់ដាក់ព្រោះអធិការដែលគាត់នឹងប្រាប់យើងគឺជាការមួយដែលគាត់តែងតែឆ្លោះជាមួយជាមួយនឹងក
មើលជំងឺពេលយើងមានធ្វើសកលានពីក្រុមហ៊ុនអង្គសកម្មមន្ត្រីរាប់រងខាងខាងឡានបាទគឺថាដោយគាត់នេះក៏ថាគាត់
that otherwise would have gone to the hell. But the Supreme Court made very clear that although that's what happened in this case, the lien wasn't required. In, that in other words, if there were no lien, Golchin would still get to collect her 20, in her case, $25,000. Her $25,000, in my example, the $10,000 from the insurance company. Okay, and I should probably pause let you translate, but, but that lets a guy like me have some real fun and, and play, play some games with the insurance company and, and get my clients some decent money um, on top of their pain and suffering. So when the insurance paid, health insurance paid, the rest of the bill after they paid, uh, then after they paid it, the health insurance went, uh, go after the med paid to, co to cover what they have paid to the, uh, to the hospital, isn't it? No, no, um, not at all. Sometimes, oh, insurance. No, the, the health, first of all, the health insurance cannot go after the med pay directly. Okay. Okay. Um, what, what may happen sometimes is that the health insurance may, um, and the term is lean, mm -hmm. on a settlement, okay, so that if the person was, who was injured was also not at fault in the accident mm -hmm. and recovered some money from the other car, uh, sometimes the health insurance will, will ask for its money back. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and one of the real artful things that, you know, we that I like to do in any event is try to figure out how to avoid those health insurance liens uh, because they can be significant. So. Mm -hmm. but, but in Golchin's case, the, the case that's before the court, there was a health insurance lien and, and actually all Golchin was trying to do was get her med pay money so that, the you know, so, that money. so that she didn't have to pay the health mm -hmm. insurance, mm -hmm. the med pay would, would, would pay them. Pay and the Supreme Judicial Court said that she was right. Of, you know, of course, she bought the med pay to protect herself mm -hmm. uh, from exactly this kind of a situation. But then they went on, uh, kind of a thing, because in saying that there are only two kinds of bills, bills payable under PIP, bills not payable under PIP, they went on to say, even if there were no lien, she still gets to recover, uh, kind of a thing. So. So as I say, that creates, you know, for those of us who, who follow these things and who, you know, work through these things in their offices every day, um, some, some real opportunity uh, to, to, to help injured people walk out of their cases with, with some decent money. It's kind of complicated, it is. isn't it, it? It is complicated. Yeah. But, but let, me, let me give you an example. I had a client come into my office last week, mm -hmm. okay, and now the, she's at the end of her case. Uh, we, I, I was actually discussing settlement offers with her. And one of the things that she said to me was that her doctor told her she should, you know, after she had completed a course of physical therapy, was, had done some other things, was still having problems, mm -hmm. that her doctor had said to her that she should maybe consider going back to physical therapy. And she did not want to go back because she was worried that her bills were already right. too high. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I mean, right off the bat, I, you know, I, I hit myself in the head because that's usually wrong thinking. Not mm -hmm. always, there, there are situations where yes, the bills can be too high and it's a problem. But most of the time it is not. But in her case, she had health insurance and she had med pay, okay? So had she have gone back to physical therapy, not only would I probably have gotten her more money for her pain and suffering because that's how we document, that's how we prove to the insurance company that the person is hurt, that their doctor is sending them the treatment and, and they're going. Um, so not only would we probably have gotten more on the, on the pain and suffering, but the physical therapy would have issued a bill, say, for $3,000. The health insurance would have paid most of that $3,000. The med pay would then have paid three thousand dollars so I've got three thousand dollars extra and then on top of that when I settled the case unlike PIP where where you know if if you and I are in an accident and my PIP pays my bills and the accident's your fault my insurance company goes to your insurance company and gets its money back right. so when I settle with your insurance company I don't get anything because they've already paid it doesn't work that way in MedPay because it's an optional coverage. So I get it again 
uh, kind of a thing. So, so actually, she would have got.